So despite the possible clickbaity nature of the title and the thumbnail, there is a genuine FPS boost we can get for free in most open VR games. Now I say for free because this is essentially upscaling like DLSS, but this is using AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution technology. Um, so some games it's going to work better than others, but today I'm going to prove just how great this little free mod is in a set of course of Competizione, which we all know is an FPS hungry game, to the point that I've really avoided playing it, um, because I'm all about immersion, immersion over competition really, uh, that's where I get the enjoyment. Uh, I've had to have it such low graphics and have motion smoothing on whatever that I've just avoided playing it, but with this mod, not anymore, and I've been playing ACC more and more. So yeah, I'm going to play that back to back with, without it and with it, and uh, just show what an absolute difference uh, this makes. So the mod I'm talking about is, of course, the OpenVR FSR mod here on GitHub. Now it's been out a little while, I'm not the first to come across it by any means, but uh, yeah, there's not many. Um, back-to-back -back comparisons showing it in use so yeah you know take your time read through all this read through the instructions but uh, simply just download the latest version which at the moment is 1.1 when you extract that you get your two files here that's all it is just copy them and most of the time you'll drop it into the where the exe for the game is but it depends on the game so here for acc you're going to your main folder then go to engine binaries third party open vr blah win64 and you drop them in here now obviously you've got your original uh api there you can rename that to keep it um i'm not going to bother i'm just going to paste copy over it if I really need it back, I can just delete these and obviously verify on Steam. So yeah, that's it. That's that's the mod installed. It's as simple as that. You can make a few adjustments. Um, you don't really need to. In fact, I'll just show you what they are. So you've got the little CFG file here. You can open this up. And yeah, take your time. Read through this. This isn't a um, full tutorial on how to use this, but for... ACC, I'm going to leave it at render scale 0.77 for ultra quality. I'm just going to put this on full sharpness um, just because it needs everything it can get ACC. And uh, yeah, I'll leave everything else as is. And uh, I'm running a 3019, I'm lucky enough, perhaps stupid enough to have a 3090. So most games, you know, I don't really need to use this, but for ACC, I certainly do. It's making a massive difference. So uh, let me just show you settings um, that I'm going to be using with my Pimax 8KX. Okay, so you can see in the Pimax VR experience, I'm using normal field of view, 150 degrees. You don't need parallel projection, so that's a huge bonus. And you can see that I actually run SteamVR Super Sampling here at 135%. So essentially I'm upping the super sampling and using the 0.77 uh, ultra quality setting in the mod to get a balance really for performance and, and sharpness. So yeah, let's uh, jump into the game and have a look what settings I've got there. Okay, so in game video options then we can ignore this top section down here. I'm not saying these are the be all and end all of settings. You know, you do what's best for you, but this is what I like, and it's going to show a big bump in performance using the mod. So yeah, things on Epic here, shadows, uh, I think shadows are quite important for immersion, especially underneath the car, which um, if you lower these too much, they just disappear. So uh, yeah, as you can see, everything quite high or so. Um, opponent's visibility 18, I think that's more than enough. And I'm leaving VR pixel density, of course, just at 100. We're not fiddling with that here. Everything's still quite high. And no motion blur, of course. Why would you want that? No sharpness added. Uh, it is best to use the sharpness in the, in the mod itself. Um, that's made clear if you read through all the documentation. 
Okay, so you join me at the start of the race here at the Nürburgring. This is without the mod running. So this is with all the high settings you've seen. And as you can see, I'm struggling here. Um, my refresh rate of this headset running at 75 hertz. I'm obviously getting nowhere near that. Um, it looks great, obviously it should. I'm on 135% super sampling. And, uh, you know, stuff on Epic and High. But the frame rate is, um... It's not comfortable. To be honest, it's not pleasant. Now, of course, I could easily use motion smoothing. And I'm going to achieve half of my frame rate. And it would, in effect, be smooth, but... You know, that comes with its own problems. Basically, a sort of ghosting, artifacting... That I don't like at all, and, uh... You know, it's another immersion break, and I've said time and time again, that's what I'm really all about. Uh, don't worry about my driving. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep in the middle of the pack, so cars in front, cars behind. So yeah, look, we're averaging just over 40 FPS, and this is in ideal conditions. We'll try uh, inclement weather at night afterwards. And that's uh, a different ball game, of course. So yeah, this isn't ideal. You wouldn't really want to play it like this. But I don't want my graphics any less than this, really. Um, certainly not much less. So let's just complete a lap. I have noticed that... Um, some cars, yellow D is really close, like it just changed there. And if I, even if I have it on 100%, like, so there really shouldn't be LOD changing. As little as the game allows, it doesn't matter. You've got to be real up close, for example, to see the, uh, the rear grills or whatever on the Audi R8. Okay, so there we have it, a lap done, um, you can see we're just averaging just over 40 FPS um, with a quite a high CPU frame time. Obviously we've got OBS running, we've got to bear that in mind, that's always a hit. So, things would be a little bit better than this, but not to an extent where it's playable. Okay, welcome back, so now we've got the mod running. Now I will say, is it that the sharpness has dropped a little bit, so it's not as crisp, but it still looks very good, still a very good looking game. And look at the jump here in frames per second. Now we're not quite up there to the refresh rate, but that's fair enough. I, you don't need to, you don't need to optimise your game for the, being amongst the full grid on the start finish straight. Uh, you're going to split up and be be gap you know have gaps between you and the other cars and that's when frames are going to pick up also i've got obs running now i could have lowered my settings just so i ensure i get a stable 75 fps but this is what i actually play on i'm just going to leave it as is and i know that it's obs causing me a little bit of aggro here but look You can still see I'm on 135% steam super sampling. And if I didn't have OBS running, which, you know, I can't show you, obviously, uh, the CPU frame time wouldn't even be in the orange. And I'd have been smooth, I know I'm smooth, 75 frames per second, even on the grid. But already here, look at the difference. And visually, what's the difference visually? Um, uh, you're not meant to pull away and forth there. <laughs> um, it's just a slight drop in sharpness. I've, I've, I've messed around with going higher super sampling and um, changing the, uh, the mod configuration, but anything other than ultra quality, 
it's it's a massive drop in clarity so this does look still very good but it's completely playable now and that's on these ridiculous settings with an 8kx so of course if you're playing with a uh, um, a headset of lower resolution your results are gonna just ensure that you get a smooth gameplay no matter what absolutely phenomenal it's, it's changed the game it's completely changed the game for me this is this is a fantastic sim now to be honest of course we have had the news that DLS S is coming anyway apparently it will be added to the sim so that's great news whether that will <coughs> Whether that will perform better or not, we shall wait and see. But obviously it will be great to have native support. So everyone will get it, whether they know about this mod or not. Because I'm here to tell you, this is amazing. And take my word for it, it's smooth in the, in the headset here. And even better when OBS isn't running. Because I know a lot of people comment, oh the video... It looks terrible, but th that's just the video, that's just the recording. The most important is the numbers. Look, I'm at 75 FPS here. And it looks great. Okay, and you join me once again here at night in quite bad weather here. Some medium rain. Everything else exactly the same. And I've got to say, this this is... Or I've got FPS VR at the bottom, which is slightly immersion breaking, but wow. Wow, was this so immersive. In this headset, oh, I'm just... This just looks amazing, seriously. But, the FPS is tanking. As you can see, look. You expect the game to struggle at night, in the rain. It's fair enough. Uh, more than in the day, but... Uh, yeah, this isn't how I'd want to play, really. It's not as bad as you might imagine. I'm sure it comes across worse on video. It's going to be, you know, my a lot of my VR footage is really choppy and it's hard to get the right bit rate. I, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, it's not that bad. As bad as I thought it would be. But it's not smooth and we can see, look, 30, 37, 38 average FPS, still a high GPU frame time, and cool sobs running, so that little hit again. But we'll complete a lap as before. Just take it easy going round. Oh, as I just completely lock up. Getting beaten up. These uh, these slippers are not conducive to good car control. <laughs> Comfy though. So yeah, and uh, now obviously as the cars are spaced out, you might gain a few FPS, but. Not really, not to a point where, oh, you know, you don't really even want a hot lap just on your own with these settings. It's, it's, you're just not going to get, barring using any sort of motion smoothing, you're not going to get a smooth experience. So there we have it, there's a lap. One lap done. And, uh, yeah, averaging around 41 there. So, um, let's whack the mod back on and see what difference it makes
Okay, welcome back to the start. This time with the mod on, or the API overwritten essentially. And you can see even here, I'm getting a, getting on close to 70 FPS, which is ridiculous. And I know I would be hitting the mark without OBS running. I know I keep saying, you know, I've got OBS running, but I want to make that clear. But I know that's a hit for me. Now here it's going to tank, and the next few corners, generally on this track, are a bit of a, are a bit of an FPS hog, but that's fine. I don't optimize any of my games to run 100% smooth at the worst case scenario because that worst case scenario is short lived. Yeah, as you can see around here, it's still going to be a bit low, but that's fine. We've got a lot going on. It's going to pick up now. The frame rate we're getting here is pretty darn good, I've got to say, for a night race in the rain. <laughs> you know, it feels decent, and there we go, look, I'm hitting 75 FPS. How good this looks. This game in the rain at night. This is one of the most immersive experiences in sim racing. Here in this dark cockpit, obviously, the, uh, the, the edges of my display are blending with the dark cockpit and it just feels immense. With this field of view in this headset, it's astonishing. So yeah, I can't make it much clearer than that. Look, 75 FPS, and it looks pretty darn phenomenal. And cars are spacing out. I mean, our average FPS is up there, 65. That's just going to increase. Here we are on the busy start finish straight, all the lighting, the grandstands, 75 FPS. CPU frame time, as I say, that would be out of the orange if I didn't have OBS running. And a little tank here again. Some tracks just have that area. An FPS problem. I guess because there's so much rendering in my view, or it's just an optimization issue, I don't know. But then I know if you come around here, FPS will jump up again. Okay, there we have it. So, of course, if you're struggling in all sorts of games, you can make use of this mod. I'm only using it in this. I might, I might use it in uh, American Truck Simulator, just so I can really go crazy on the super sampling and uh, have everything as high as it will go. But, yeah. So, uh... As ever, any questions, comments, drop them down below. I'll always respond as, as long as I see it. But uh, for now, that'll do it, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.